video if you are new here hello i'm sabrina if you are not new to this but you're true to this welcome back to another video so as you can see by the title it's a maintenance vlog y'all because i look rough <laughs> your girl looks crazy right now okay we need to get look at these lashes <laughs> look at these lashes like y'all like they look they look insane they look insane every everything on me right now looks absolutely insane so i got back from the gym like a few hours ago <sighs> that workout almost took me out y'all but we're gonna get everything together in this vlog so this is definitely gonna be a maintenance video for all the diy girlies for the girlies that's like we're saving our coins on every avenue on every step i want to do it all myself this is a maintenance vlog for you so today what are we doing clearly <laughs> y'all look at my hair look look at this hair okay hair looks a mess so one we're doing our hair today we're doing these lashes today <laughs> I'm sorry, but every time I literally see myself in a viewfinder, I'm like, girl, you are a joke. The fact that you just be coming on here looking like this to these people. But by the end of this vlog, by the end of this vlog, right, she gonna be that girl again. So we got hair, we got lashes, <laughs> these nails. I have had these nails on since like the beginning of August. It's literally like what, August 20. 8th right now 25th it was one of the 20s like late 20s it's been like three weeks um since i've had these nails on y'all can see like they need to be done so nails is the next thing of course when you do your nails you gotta do your toes so pedicure is the next thing i think i am due for a wax as well we're gonna do some teeth whitening it's been a hot minute since i've whitened my teeth they look all right but they ain't all they can be, okay? So we're gonna do that. What else did I say I wanted to do with y'all? So even though I'm doing all my maintenance myself, part of self-care for me personally, I like getting a little treated in there somewhere here and there. So personally for me, I save all my money, like, you know, doing all my own maintenance and things like that. But baby, I'm gonna go splurge on me a little. <laughs> treat yourself a little okay so i'm definitely a gifter i love receiving gifts so even though i do all my maintenance stuff myself like to like top off my self-care routine is either like i'll treat myself to like a massage or something right like something i truly can't do myself or i would truly just go out and buy something that i've wanted for a while and that kind of puts like a little cherry on top for my self-care maintenance days for me which is gonna bring us into today's sponsor thank you so much to kate and kelly for sponsoring today's video so they did treat your girl to some jewelry which i am so freaking excited happy and grateful for i've definitely been building up my jewelry collection and they did not disappoint so kay and kelly is a online jewelry store Obviously, they have a wide range and variety of jewelry. They have something for everyone on there. But y'all know, I'm very much a goals girl. So obviously, I got everything in gold. So first thing I got were these super cute earrings. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. They're in this heart shape. The quality is amazing, y'all. Like, it's dense. Ain't nothing cheap about it okay ain't nothing cheap about it it's giving quality every step but these earrings are so freaking beautiful yeah so these earrings are absolutely beautiful i love how easy it is to put on it's honestly just like an open and closed clasp that just like snaps into place um the quality of it is amazing it's not super heavy at all but like it's quality pieces like it looks like it weighs something it does have a little bit of weight on it so it definitely does not get cheap at all but it's not too heavy on your ears or anything like that 
the next piece I got which I love 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 so the next piece I got was this ring and it is so freaking cute you guys um, I want to say it's like it's not a braided pattern I'll have the names of the pieces on the screen but this this is so freaking cute you guys and it fits perfectly on my pinky I never wear rings on my pinky because I can never find any that actually fits or that just looks good and this piece was actually just perfection and again looking at this like it's a thick and sturdy quality oh my gosh like it's not one of those rings where you can even like bend to fit the shape or anything like that like it's very sturdy it has a little bit of weight on it as well i think the pieces are just absolutely so freaking cute so again a super huge thank you to kay and kelly for sponsoring this portion of the video okay guys so got a little treated got some gifts got some new jewelry y'all let's get ourselves together okay so yeah i just got back from the gym not too long ago but i really wanted to like braid my hair down and stuff before i got in the shower so once i got in the shower we just get all the oils and everything off so we gonna start out with the hair first okay let's get the hair together first so this is not working out <laughs> because like of my nails like they keep snagging so i can't even like grip my hair good as you can see like these braids are not these braids are not gonna work for under a wig my wig's gonna be so lumpy so we're still gonna do a protective style it's just not gonna be a wig y'all the hair but you know what's crazy because originally this is what i was gonna do at first and then i was like oh let me get a little spicy for the people and you know do a whole little wig slay and all of that let me pause Sean, real quick and you know be all extra and then couldn't even do it this was my original plan my original plan was to give the people bun <laughs> and i had to end up giving a bun um but this is real cute this is the first time i ever actually did like a wraparound bun like this but it actually came out so good it was so easy y'all all right so i'm about to clean up uh, and all one you know this sermon that why is this battery dead too i just changed the battery and, and, and listen, this sermon that's playing on shem cook's vlog right now oh, is hit is so hard i need her i hope she listed this in the description box because i need to go back and listen right <laughs> he's going in but i'm about to hop in the shower now that my hair is done but i want to take off my lashes so i can kind of all right hold on y'all i'm watching shun cook's vlog this is this is from a month ago but the sermon that is playing in the background while she's getting ready right now is fire okay like i hope she linked it in her description box because i need to go back and listen to that whole thing because he's going off okay i'm gonna let y'all hear like a snippet of it um i want to take off these lashes before i get in the shower so i can like really scrub my face real good before i put on my next set so i had already took the thing out but this is the kit that i had used to do this one it comes with two sets it comes with a classic and like a pointy one which is honestly just the volume one 
So it comes with a remover. But God says, I don't know where you got that from mm -hmm. because to me a day is a thousand years and a thousand years is but a day. I don't keep time like you keep time. Time is too small for me. I don't do anything in time, but I do things on time mm -hmm. because I am not able to fit in time. I, I can ride in your life on time. But you got to wait on the Lord because God is not going to mm -hmm. give you a book just because you turn 30. And just because you're going to have a high risk pregnancy after 35, you asking God to do it right now. God says, I'm not doing it right now because your life ain't in order for me to give you what you want. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving you what you want in time. I know. Everybody in your life needs to be there. Oh, God, help me, mighty Jesus. And I'm going to stop when I'm going to give it to you when the fullness of time comes. I'm going to give it to you when your jealous friends are going to hate on you and try to tear it down. I'm going to give it to you when you get that no good person you date out of your life. You know that I told you to get rid of a long time ago. And so since you want to stay in your circumstance, you're going to stay out of my blessing. Oh. Because some of y'all trying to negotiate with God. Well, God, just let me just keep him for another six months and see how it's going. Why is it God, let me just thing? stay here for another five months to see how it's going to work out. God said, Jerry, I'm going to give you what you want. And I ain't scared of none of you. I came to break curses. I came to slay demons and devils. I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. And it ain't going to happen a moment too soon. Because mm -hmm. I came to fight the devil today. It ain't like if you struggle, millions of people are going to be changed. Don't nobody know you, but the fuck who know you? Let me tell you right now, some of y'all got to get some people out of your life because everybody who's supposed to be in your life is not in your life. And so God says, I'm going to delay. I'm going to delay because if I show up, this is not show, working. you're going to have some haters who are going to talk you out of what I'm doing for you. Y'all, I went through it. I went through it. <laughs> to get those off, but they're off. And still got all my last. Well, I won't say all, but I still got about 90, 90 to ninety five percent of my lashes. But you know what my problem was? I was just expecting them to just like come off immediately. I feel like I still have like something, and I was getting that liquid all in my eye, y'all. I hope it's safe. But I was like expecting the lashes to just kind of like come off immediately like once you put the glue on versus like no it has to sit and like loosen up the glue so it wasn't that bad because i'm not gonna lie halfway through i was like i'm not doing lashes again so i was like i'm ripping out my lashes but i just had to give it time yeah the lighting just got real weird oh i'm looking sleek i gotta adjust this though I was gonna do like a whole skincare routine with y'all, but mm -mm, cause I'm hungry. <laughs> I feel like we've been struggling on this self care for today. I don't know, y'all probably won't see the struggle. <laughs> Shout out to editing, but hair didn't work out how I thought it was gonna work out. This is my first time taking these off though, so this was a learning experience for me. But all right, I'm just happy I still got my lashes. <laughs> We're good on that. All right, let's go shower, child. Got me feeling lucky. Come on. 
my way you love it all I've been waiting for you for a while I've been waiting for you Skin Make you so good Let me take on some natural light Ooh. Looks so good. <laughs> That's nail mucin with retinoin. Changed my entire life. Why I be always like deciding to do all my skin, like all my self care thing in one day is beyond me, but I rather just knock it out and do it in a full day. And then literally on Sunday, like I'm chilled. Everything's fresh. Everything's new, everything's clean, and we're good to go. We can go live our life for the rest of the week. So I'm about to, you know, slather some lotion on, get dressed, have lunch. Probably gonna make some matcha to give me some energy, not gonna lie. Um, and then we'll be back to do the lashes. Oh, okay, I thought it was like a, it's my earring. <laughs> that was like a piece of hair sticking up for my bun. We'll be back to do our lashes. Still haven't whitened our teeth. We got a lot of stuff to do, but I'll be back probably like in like an hour. I need a break. I need a break. Let me pause this real quick oh so we got the new lashes on they look so freaking good and i did such a better job than the other set was my first set that's why i did like a more natural look this is my second time doing it and i definitely i definitely did the thing on this one my first eye always comes out so good and then this eye over here it's always like a little bit more jankier than this. Like this one's always like perfection. And then this one be struggling a little bit, but yeah, these came out really good. I like them. Ooh. So this is the finished lashes. Baby, the difference? The difference, okay? It looks so free. Ah! Just so happy. I'm just so freaking happy I learned how to do lashes, y'all. You don't understand. Because now I understand why the girls go hard for their lashes. Because you literally wake up like, baby, just your hair done. Make sure your skin looking good. And some lashes and some gloss. I don't got no gloss. A little bit dry coming at you right now. But I feel so pretty right now. Like, I feel so pretty. And I, with no makeup. That's 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 what it is for me. It's the fact that it just makes you feel like you that girl already and you ain't even like beat your face or nothing. You just woke up. <laughs> All right, y'all. So 
Um, I am gonna go brush my teeth and we're gonna whiten our teeth while we soak off our gel polish on our toes. Um, so originally I will do like a full blown pedicure, but I'm not in the mood for that today. And I really don't need one because I kind of like already had kind of like scrubbed my feet and stuff when I was in the shower a few days ago. So feet's are already baby soft and all that. I just need to change my toe polish and do all that stuff. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl this ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away my love my love, so don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away. My love, so don't give away. My love, so don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. My love. My love. Now if I wrote you a love note. Smile at every word I wrote What would you do? Would that make you want to change your scene? And want to be the one on my team? Tell me what you See, what's the point in waiting anymore? Cause girl, I've never been more sure but baby, it's you This ring here represents my heart And everything that you've been waiting for Just say it, I do because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I Zoe. want you to do is be my love. You always gotta be with anybody coming up the stairs, and I don't understand why. But anyways, done with my toes, y'all saw that. They're pretty like brownish nude. I never really like my toes the very first day I do them. If you know, you know. Like, you gotta take a shower first. Let all the little side crusties <laughs> come off, and then it's like crisp. But I like the color, it was cute. And I thought I was gonna do like a pop of color, but I went neutral. <laughs> so I left these on the whole time I was doing my toes, huh? I take it off. A little residue off. Okay. This also feel like I don't really see the difference until like the next day, like it sets. But on camera, it's looking real white. 
Alright, so I did not wax it. It's not horrible. It really isn't. It I feel like it's actually not even time for me to wax it for real for real, but it's like it's something there. Mmm. I think should we wax now? Yeah. I need dinner. I should have waited till like I was going to bed before I did my tea blending because now it's like I don't even want to eat after I just did that. But I haven't eaten dinner yet. It's eight o'clock right now. My nails don't take long, but they take a little minute. So I'm gonna wax and then do my nails, and it's probably the last thing I'm gonna do for tonight. Isn't that everything we had to do? We did our hair, we did our lashes, we did our teeth. We did our toes, we're about to wax, and then our nails. Yeah. I was gonna make this just like a maintenance vlog, but I'm actually gonna just turn this into a weekend vlog. And we gonna like talk tomorrow as well. Cause you know, we gonna put it all together tomorrow. And it's gonna be the final like glow up. Like, <laughs> remember how we started out? <laughs> Look at us now. Here's my little bodyguard that's always right next to me and then here are my toes and better lighting yeah i love this color dear zoe but yeah this oh you want to say hi because you heard your name say hey mama hi but yeah this color is really cute you see how it's like it's the perfect nude for brown girls because it's like a brown taupey color not like the white nude yeah this looks so freaking cute. Love it. Yeah. I already have some wax in there, but ah, that's definitely not enough. That scared me so bad. I'm honestly just going to dump the rest out from here in it. And I can toss this. And then cover this. And I'm just turning it up to the highest setting so it can heat up doing stuff all day for yourself you ain't paying me no attention i know girl i know i know i know mama i know one thing about doodles y'all they're so needy and some people are like oh that's all dogs no doodles are very very needy dogs like and <laughs> They're so jealous. Like, it's so funny because they're great with kids, but they're also so jealous. Like, they really they act like they're one of the kids. <laughs> and it's like, whenever I hug Cam, oh no, I'm bending down. Whenever I like hug Cam, dog, she comes, she's like trying to get all up in the middle. Like, and it's funny because it's not like she wants a group hug. She's like, bro, back up from my mom. <laughs> this is my mother. Like, that's how she be acting. But, y'all, you know, she's obsessed. I I know, I know, I know, because you're my sweet girl. You're my sweet girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're my baby girl. You're my baby girl. She's so sweet, though. I love her. She's a sweetheart. All right, y'all. So I turned it down. Now I just want to make sure it's the right consistency. And yeah, it's like honey, so it's not too runny because then it's too hot. So now it's time to wax. This wax kit is from Tress Wellness. I love this wax, wax kit. I've been using it for like years now. I will link like everything I possibly can from today down below. But it comes with a pre-wax and a after wax spray. Um, after I got out the shower... Um, I didn't put any deodorant deodorant on or anything because I knew I was going to be waxing. So I really don't think I need the pre-wax. Yeah, so I typically use the pre-wax when it's like a day where I've had products under my arm and I need to clean it off. But again, I didn't put anything on after I got out the shower. So I don't really think I need it. So now it's just a matter of... Putting this wax on. Oh, this is still a little bit warm. Well, it's higher than what I usually put on. I put it on like on 150. 
So I remember at one point, y'all, would you believe that I was actually doing my own Brazilian? <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me. And then eventually I was like, yeah, nah, this is like sickening. This is madness. Like, I do not hate myself. <laughs> I cannot do it. I think I forgot who I was watching and they were basically just saying like how they do their own. I was like, oh, let me try. And I was like, I mean, everywhere else, honestly, like on the outer part, it's like waxing your underarm, right? But when you get to those lips, the lips, like... I will wax everything else like in 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, the lips, I will be there for like an hour. <laughs> an hour trying to take off like that same strip. It's, it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So then I was just like, yeah, we're, we're just, we're not doing this. So I got like a little, it's not a membership, but basically I, I kind of just like prepaid for all my waxes for the year. And it like, gives you a little bit of a discount, but honestly, by the time like, you tip your wax person, like, girl, I'm paying the same price, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so I just go to a place to get my Brazilians now. And then I do my Under Armour's myself. Whew. And the thing about this, honestly, y'all, just, just go fast. Just rip it off real quick. Woo! Oh, Lord. That was a really good strip. I usually get majority of everything. I need one of these. Um, on the first, but I always do a second strip. That's like a cleanup strip. And then, ooh, come back. That one, I will go the opposite way than the first one. Just to grab any little thing that might be anywhere. All right, so. Last section, and everything is all smooth. I can rip these. So the after wax spray, um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It's like when, if it's a time where I just really have a lot of like little straggle wax pieces like this, just like all over, I'll use it, but not all the time. But this is it, after two strip, all done, all clean. And yeah, believe it or not, my underarms didn't always used to look like this, you guys. Like, I used to have, like, dark underarms, but now they're literally, like, the same complexion as my skin. I don't get any ingrown, so I don't have, like, dark marks and anything like that. Do I need to do another strip? No, but waxing is honestly, like, what changed the game for me. So if you're unsatisfied with how under your arms look, I'm telling you, stop shaving under your arms and start waxing, girl, start waxing. I'm gonna eat really quick and then after, we're gonna do our nails. Oh my gosh, I, sorry. Maybe it's just like the fresh face and like clean face and like slick hair. Everything's just out of my way and like the way my skin is just giving right now. I think it's just everything, but I just feel so pretty right now. I feel so pretty. But yeah, baby, these lashes are here to stay. And then when I took them off, like I wasn't bald headed on my lashes because I was scared. I was real scared. If I would have took them things off and my lashes would have been like gone, I would, we would have scrapped it. But they they just look so good. I just can't get over just how good they look. Okay, all right. I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit to get these claws together. This color that's like on my toes on my hand is gonna look so freaking good.
y'all it is sunday um y'all just saw a quick little get rid me get ready with me y'all got to see my new pieces from k and kelly i included that in the try on haul they're so freaking cute y'all i love these earrings these earrings are so freaking cute my ring is everything i had to switch it over to my right hand or my right hand my left hand um i think my well, yeah, your body's not symmetrical, but it kept like falling off of my right pinky. So I had to switch it to my left pinky, which is cool. But y'all, these are so friggin' cute. I absolutely love these pieces. Like shout out to my jewelry collection. That's just like ever evolving. I love that. Cause I'm definitely a jewelry like girl. Like, <laughs> so yeah, I absolutely like love my pieces. I'm so like excited. I'm just so happy with where my jewelry collection is going because I'm like evolving into that like having staple quality high-end pieces real jewelry pieces that's gonna like last so i'm really happy about that so make sure you check out kay and kelly if you're wanting to update your jewelry collection as well y'all the way i say literally is ridiculous i don't know what my issue is with that word but literally is like saying a like or um to other people for me <laughs> I say it so much. I need to do better because my vocabulary is wor way more extensive than that. I don't know why I speak like I don't know no other words to describe things. Um, yeah, but I'm heading to church, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm heading. Oh, I didn't even show y'all my nails. Okay, I'm gonna have to do like a real cute little b-roll to show y'all the finished product of my nails because my camera definitely died as soon as i started painting them but they are so freaking cute and as you can see like today i don't know what it was but my vibe was just on neutral the whole way through but i absolutely love this color like this color is like this is perfect this is the perfect nude for a woman of color because it has like that undertone like milky brown ish color and it's called milk tea like and it's for um i'll put the i'll put the link to the set that i got on amazon everything will be in my link i promise i promise it'll be my link i'm trying to build my amazon storefront up as well so it'll be there it'll be there but this is the perfect nude for a woman of color perfect nude i love it i'm so happy i decided to go with this instead of whatever i don't even remember what color i picked but yeah um can y'all drive because do you like somebody move somebody move lord i want you the one that need to move because you the one that don't know where you're going but you guys, I'm on my way to church and I'm so freaking excited. So you guys have heard me speak about this in a few of my other vlogs of wanting to find a church home and stuff like that. I've been so used to just like doing online church ever since, you know, um, Corona and stuff had happened. I've been doing online church. Thank you for finally moving because you was trying to irritate me today. Um, <laughs> so, but you know, like when you're on this walk with God, y'all, um, it can be real trying, it can be real testing. So it's really good to be around other people who are as serious about their walk with God to keep you encouraged, to kind of help check you, keep in line sometimes when you may want to sway away and things like that. So at this point in life, I'm just very serious, like very, very serious about the company I keep, whether it's friends, whether it's in my relationship, um, because even like when I get married and things like that, I want my husband and I to have a real solid marriage group of friends because, you know, we all have the same goal in mind. It's going to be to protect our marriage, to grow and flourish in our marriage and to keep it um you know healthy and stuff like that so my main goal is when it comes to my friends i want to have godly friends i want to have friends that are constantly trying to better themselves their lives their family their households all of that because that's just who i am naturally like i'm always seeking to be better i'm always seeking to do better i'm always seeking to have better i'm just always elevating and 
sometimes it's kind of like sometimes it can actually cripple me a little bit because then when you do get into better sometimes i don't even know how to enjoy that better because it's like my mind auto auto automatically flips to like okay we got here now how can we make this better you know so i'm learning how to slow down and enjoy every time i step into a next season but that's just how i am naturally it's just i'm constantly evolving constantly so i have to be very careful of the company i keep because they can either help you advance or they can drag you back okay what is you know what i hate and I feel like this happens to everyone. Why when you do your makeup, you not cold, you don't have a cold, ain't nothing going out, but your nose be running. Why is my nose running? And it, it doesn't happen until you do your makeup. I don't understand it. I don't know why I thought this church was all the way over here. I literally passed the church, y'all. Like, okay. I gotta go around to the other one. I literally passed the church off. Um, uh, let me back up so I'm getting here. Um, so yeah, I'm going back to church because I need to be around other Christians, other people that are serious about their walk with God. And then hopefully, you know, throughout my time of being in a church once i do find a church i will also build solid friendships like the ones that i am looking for that possibly is probably going to pour into the relationships and friendships that you know my husband and i will have as well so let me go get this gas y'all and then we're gonna go to church such a pretty day out but let's go ahead and get into this church y'all <laughs> it started raining y'all oh my gosh i found my church home y'all you don't understand like i prayed over this when i was looking um because they were even asking me like how did you find us and i honestly just search churches in my area because i was like you know i all my other churches i it was always a trip a full blown like road trip to get to church i was like i do not want a church that's like super far like i gotta literally take you know 30 40 minutes outside of my day to get there i want something that's going to be in my area that i know i'm going to be living and things like that and of course i have my own personal wants that i wanted out of a church to be very welcoming being very open being very diverse um and you know i really thought i was going to have to go through like you know a few churches have to sit through a few different sermons with different pastors before i really found the one where i was like okay this is it this is it but you um i kind of had like a list there was one other church which i had been seeing for a while and i followed them on social media i was like okay i'm gonna go there but they're a little bit you know again it was gonna be a little bit of a trip and then i came up on this when i was on their website and just what i was seeing i was like you know what i was like this kind of looks like you know so obviously i prayed over my church you know and i had my wants and obviously god's going to know my need and you guys from the moment i walked up they were so inviting i love the campus of it all it's so beautiful here um and you know throughout the sermon this wasn't their traditional like a church a traditional church service because it was actually the pastor's 10 year anniversary um and he was just you know basically highlighting i guess what he was just so the most proud of throughout his time serving god and being a leader of the church 
but it's just so crazy because it wasn't a traditional sermon today but God confirmed so much for me today and like the whole time I was teary-eyed like the whole time he wasn't even preaching the place down y'all he was just talking we just have a normal conversation he's just talking and I'm fighting back tears the whole time because God just like has confirmed to me like what I wanted you to do what I called you to do he confirmed that for me today he has confirmed so many other things that he's spoken to me about promises that he's made me and how he wants me to go about it today like today from the moment I opened my eyes y'all <laughs> a lot to just God's been moving today in so many ways and I think like th from this morning I kind of woke up just you know I can't obviously speak on it because that's another thing God told me to keep certain things private until a certain time but from today from I woke up from I looked at my phone it was just like I answered prayer coming to life I walked in here and it was just literally just big bold confirmations everywhere today and like even the pastor when he was talking about things like you know it's a grown man and I've like most of the pastors I don't think I've ever had a woman pastor now I think about it y'all my pastors have always been men but y'all I've never seen a male pastor like get emotional and like teary eyed and about like having to fight back tears um it was just it's like it's just so crazy because of like he didn't even really like preach a sermon baby I'm gonna have to bring me some tissues when I come back here because this man gonna have me <laughs> He gonna have me in here a whole mess when he really started preaching because he wasn't even preaching. He was just talking about the things that he was just so happy and proud of. Like I got to know a little bit about him and like the little bit that he shared. I'm like, wow, like that's a crazy, you know, story. So I'm just, I'm elated. I'm elated to, see the, to say the least. Like I really didn't think the very first first church that I would visit on my hunt for a new church home was gonna be it but that just shows you like God is so intentional he's so intentional with everything that he does I'm just I'm just I'm just over I'm like overpouring and overflowing with emotions because today in itself just has been such a huge 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 day of confirmations like you know when you keep asking I like I need you to verify I need you to be crystal clear on some things and when he comes through and when he just gives you that answer it's it can just be overwhelming sometimes but I'm so happy I found a church home y'all I'm so happy